Join me today as I take you on a neighborhood tour of the Canyons Village. The Canyons Village is exploding with new product. It has so many new developments, it is going to make your head spin. And this place is only 60% developed, which is even going to blow your mind even more. Now, Canyons Village is basically like owning beachfront property. So as you can see, you have the most beautiful view of the mountains here on the canyon side. As we come up this road, the cabriolet is to our left, and that is also where the parking is. And so if you are skiing for the day, you park in that parking lot and you take the little tin can up the road here. That shuttle on the right is the shuttle stop service. So if you own property in this area, you can actually download the app and you can ride that shuttle as opposed to going down to the parking lot and trying to find a parking spot. You can just jump on that shuttle and head on up. So as you can see, we're coming right under the cabriolet here. Very beautiful area. This is one of the my favorite areas to own real estate in. Let this lovely couple walk across the street here. So as we're making our left-hand turn, this is known as Navajo Trail to our left. These are all townhomes. These are going to be in the high sevens, eights, maybe even nines now. And to my right, you can't see, which is the Silverado Lodge. And as we come up here, passing some tennis courts here, there's also red pine condos. And these are one bedrooms all the way up to three beds, and they can run you anywhere from the high to low fours all the way up to the low eights. And this is a brand new road that just got built in the Ridge, which is a brand new development there on the left hand side. Those are run you about $2 million. And the ginormous hotel condo that is straight ahead of us, that is the Westgate. Westgate has been here forever. And it definitely has a little bit of an older style, more grotto style, um, stone type things. You've got, you know, bathtub next to your bed. So not for everyone, but still absolutely a gorgeous hotel and you can't beat the location. As we come up here on the road to my right is going to be Pendry. And to my left, that is the Hilton. So now you can kind of see Pendry. It is absolutely humongous. It towers basically over every single hotel that was built. So that's definitely something to consider that when you purchase in this area that it's only 60% developed. So you might be buying something with a view and you never know the next year, 10 years from now, it, your view could definitely very well be gone. This is the lift, also a new construction beautiful building it's by replay developers they are the same people that did the yotel pad and they strive to bring affordable mountain living to mountain towns as we head up here on the road there are going to be more townhomes and condos here And there you have it, there's the Red Pine Gondola folks and we are approaching some of my favorite luxury condos right now. These are the Apex, these are gonna run you about $2 million. These are the most stunning, absolutely my favorite in the entire village. Um, but I am definitely someone who is very partial to more of that modern contemporary style beautiful clean lines, so definitely my taste. But you have a pretty incredible view from up here, and these are brand new and absolutely gorgeous. You have also ski in, ski out access.
absolutely stunning views. The Grand Summit is there to our left. And as we come down in here, you can see the top of the cabriolet drops you off. And this is the village. This Sundial Lodge. Here on our left, also kind of in the generation of when Westgate was built and the Grand Summit. Um, we're passing the lift again. Sundial has a really cool pool. And straight ahead there, that big bad boy is uh, Pendry. It's got three separate buildings. It's going to be an absolute stunner of a project. And if you don't know, Pendry is part of the Montage brand. Um, I think a younger generation of consumer is more the Pendry brand and older generation of consumer is more of the Montage brand. Uh, we've got the Hyatt and the Hilton here on the right and the Pendry on the left, just a humongous building. It's gonna have a spa, it's gonna have a ski beach, it's gonna also be ski and ski out. They're completely redoing the lift there. And you've got the Westgate here on your left as we approach. All of these are hotel condo product. So a hotel condo basically operates just like a hotel. It's got a front desk. You can throw your unit into the rental pool. There are fractional interest opportunities or there's full in ownership interest opportunities. I believe the majority of the things that sell in the Canyons Village are full ownership. So here's the entry to the Westgate as we approach and that beautiful building right there is the hotel pad also by replay and if we can see to the left here this is going to be the silverado or i'm sorry the right it's going to be the silverado this area up here has a two percent buyer transfer fee and it is for the Canyons Village Management Association. It was formed in 1999, and it oversees the development and the progression of the Canyons Village specialty planned area. And it functions as a master association. The CVMA provides various services related to resort development, design, and contributing to creating amenities and events which promote Canyons Village at Park City Mountain Resort as a four season world-class destination community. We are going about the roundabout here and the uh, Canyons does have a golf course here. Very hard to play, I have heard, but very fun nonetheless if you're into golf. And as we approach down here, kind of the lower right-hand side of the Canyons, this is gonna be where the Frostwood Gondola is. You have the Frostwood Villas, which are also townhomes. You've got the Wyndham Hotel there, which does not have any full ownership opportunity that operates as a hotel. And you've got the Waldorf Astoria right here. And if you were to continue to go on that roundabout, you take you to Juniper Landing, some more townhomes and condos. Straight ahead here, all this new construction, this is the Viridian. You are on the golf course right here. And if we keep continuing, this road will actually take you into Sun Peak. So there are a couple different entry points that you can come, you can kind of take this back road, the shortcut, if you live in Sun Peak to get to Canyons or you can turn there at the light. Everything in Canyons Village runs you about $500 a square foot all the way up to $4,000. Now you might be thinking, holy crap, $4,000. That's actually in the private gated community of the colony, which I have a video on if you are interested in it. The colony has homes that are, you know, $38 million. The majority of them are about eight to 12 million. And buying new construction in this area, it's gonna run you anywhere from about $1,000 per square foot all the way up to $1,300 per square foot. Uh, so 
If you're buying a studio in this area, it's generally gonna start out probably at the mid threes. There is a new development coming in, the Ascent, which is even more expensive than Yotel Pad. Yotel Pad runs, runs about $1,000 per square foot. So for something that's 388 square feet, you're paying almost $340,000 for it. Now the Ascent, um, you're paying closer to double that. Uh, everything that is currently on the MLS that is pre-reservation is going to be at least seven for a studio. Park City loves their roundabouts. This is their solution to all things traffic related. So when you come into town, you better love yourself a good roundabout and know how to operate on one. So that flat area to our left, that's where the ascent is going to be, right where that van passed us. And to our right, that is more of the golf course. And as you can see, this is where you park to go ski. There's a huge lot here. And if you can't find parking at Park City Mountain Village, which is very difficult these days, they will send you out here. So sometimes it's better just park here and take the bus there or park here and start your day here and work your way over to that side. Everything to our left is all employee parking for Vail Resorts and employee buildings ski school, lift ops, all that sort of stuff. As we come up here, this is Blackstone Residences. These are beautiful new construction stunners too. Um, they've been around for a little while, not as, not as long as like Grand Summit in those areas, but they're gonna be running you close to a million dollars uh, for something. These are also new. These are White Pine Canyon. These are gorgeous. Super modern, super clean, absolutely stunning on the inside. And I was gonna go up the street and then I decided not to because they still are doing construction on these. I didn't wanna get caught with all the construction, but these are gonna run you anywhere from a million all the way up to three million. And then this is the back way. If you kept going straight, that would take you to the gated community of the colony. And if we go on this road, there's definitely some homes listed over here, lots of lots more acreage. And this pops you out right by St. Mary's Church on 224. If you're to turn right, it takes you past the white barn into town. And if you're turning left, that takes you back to Kimball Junction. And if you cruise down to the description down below, I always drop a link of everything that is currently for sale. It's always updated in real time. It's very accurate um, in the description and that can be found in the description down below. So if you'd like to see what's currently for sale or get more of an idea of any of the subdivisions that I was talking about or the condos or the projects, please check that out. And as always, never hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions on anything Park City real estate related. I am your go-to gal.